technical section of the report, we're in the garage on the right wall and you've got some lines coming in that have been cut off um, right here. Not sure what they used to go to, but obviously they're no longer attached. Um, we're looking at a panel box that appears to be 150 amps. It is a breaker system, of course. You do have a 150 amp main disconnect, multi-strand, um, aluminum service entrance cables coming into the panel. They do appear to be sized properly for 150 amps. They're too hot. The 50 amp double pole breaker at the top does only have 10 gauge copper wire running from it. That's sized for 30 amps, so that is overfused. The rest of the wire sizing in the panel appears to be proper. I'm not seeing any other indication of overfusing. There's no melted sheathing, no burnt wiring, no double taps. Everything else appears to be proper. Your uh, test button there that's labeled SPA is GFI protected, did trip properly when tested. The raceway coming in to the panel is not sealed, but it's coming into the garage, so that's fine. That does explain why the cobwebs are in there. I'm going to defer any comments for the lights and outlets to the interior section of the report. As far as the ground goes, it is grounded right on the outside, and I'll document it further in the plumbing section of the report at the water main. No other issues observed. Obviously, the issue right there with the double tap would recommend having a licensed electrician review and correct. This is the plumbing section of the report, and we have what appears to be a one inch copper supply line coming in for the main. You got your meter or the shutoff valve, the main shutoff valve here, your secondary shutoff valve over there, your meter in the middle. It is properly jumpered for the electrical ground. And then if you follow line up, you have your shutoff valve, which is off for the sprinkler system. The